And yes, you can. Hey friends, welcome to the Energy Independent Show. Today we're going to be talking about six hot renewable energy topics, starting with Observer.com. Elon Musk mocks Nikola's hydrogen cars and explains fuel cells won't work. Last week, Nikola's stock, uh, more than, or this week actually, more than doubled. And not to be outdone, Tesla's stock has gone up over a record high of $1,000 a share price. He has this to say. He says, fuel cells equals fuel cells. The Tesla CEO mocked up Nikola's core technology in a tweet early Tuesday morning. It's staggeringly dumb, he wrote in another tweet. So we'll see how this innovative competition and stock price continues to move along. According to Green Tech Media, racial justice protests put a spotlight on pollution and clean energy solutions. On an episode today on the political climate, the uh, guest will be Mustafa Santiago Ali, and they'll be talking about and connecting the dots between clean air, affordable energy, and the racial justice movement. I encourage you to check that out. According to MIT Technology Review, a Green New Deal architect explains how the protests and climate crisis are connected. The Roosevelt Institute's Rihanna Gunn Wright says the events of 2020 underscore the need for broader coalitions to push for sweeping economic, environmental, and criminal justice reforms. She says the people most likely to die from toxic fumes are the same people most likely to die from COVID-19, she wrote. It's like we are watching a preview of the worst possible impacts of the climate crisis roll right before our eyes. We're facing a recession. It could be a bad recession or worse than the Great Depression. And then we have a public health crisis. And obviously we have an ongoing crisis around white supremacy and racial injustice. And that is coming to the fore. And of course, we're also facing the climate crisis. According to Clean Technia, Intuit is a hits 100% renewable electricity goals in 10 years early. The 419 megawatt Mesquite Star Wind Farm was just completed in Fisher County, Texas, and is now providing electricity for Ecolab, Intuit, and Brown University. Intuit reached 100% renewable energy goals. Ecolab reached 100% of its electricity needs, and Lowe's will power 143 of its stores. And according to Brown University, 30% of its campus will be covered. Successfully launching a project like this at a time like this demonstrates the durability of the industry, even under the most difficult circumstances, said Craig Cornelius, CEO of Clean Way Energy Group. According to PV Europe, BioWay uh, sells seven Dutch solar parks, including first floating solar projects. The strong investment in renewable energy assets continue despite COVID-19. And according to uh, Mathis, the successful sale of these solar parks demonstrates that despite the COVID-19 crisis, the renewable energy industry continues to blossom. And we at Bioway are very happy to see, to be able to maintain business as usual, we experience an ongoing strong appetite for an investment in renewable energy assets. They've also partnered with Dutch Green uh, Grown Leaven and now the largest developers of floating solar and PV in Europe with plans to build further 100 megawatts across the continent in 2020. With the Dutch Baumhops Plus, excuse me, my pronunciation there, project, the company recently finished the construction of the largest floating solar project outside of China. Also according to Green Tech Media, recovering residential solar industry prepares for wildfire season with batteries. Co demand for home batteries may surge as the California market swings for a COVID-19 shutdown straight into wildfire season. Companies selling home solar and storage anticipate this trend to continue this year, including Energy Independence Group. With California's fire season, which generally runs through summer and into fall, now beginning amid a pandemic. While the epicenter of that dynamic is still the Golden State, Similar trends have also shown up in areas impacted by hurricanes like Florida and Texas. The Atlantic hurricane season began on June 1st. California is preparing for a particularly intense wildfire season this year. A dry winter means more susceptibility to fire 
shutdowns related to the coronavirus pandemic have also stimmed some of the preparation efforts. So to be prepared, if you're actually looking for uh, solar or storage, you can visit sunestimator.com to get information on how to size and, and prepare yourself for these kinds of crises we're facing now. So we thank you for joining us and we will see you next time on the Energy Independent Show. See you soon.